checking in. Wow, it's actually cold. Winter's here. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, I just had an exam. Say no. Oh, dude, take the head off. Take the head off. Oh my gosh, I got hit. Yeah, Paul Walker, yes or no? No. Yes. Here we go, young man. Yep. Off. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost lost it. Woo! That was close. <laughs> I underestimated the wind. So it just started to drift away. And there was nothing I could do about it either because, uh, I mean, I was trying to move it, but the wind was just too powerful. Actually, surprisingly, I never lost the remote control signal or the video feed. I went th back inside the house and out the front door into the car and then all the way over and across the street into the next parking lot. And the whole time the video feed was solid, so that's just a bonus. Um, I think these antennas on the remote are pretty, pretty strong. Whoa, you guys are probably wondering how this happened right there. Spoiler alert. Yeah, so point of this video, it's been a long time since I've made a progression video. I think it was the hand hop progression like, like two years ago or so. Now I'd probably do that again, but unfortunately I don't have enough footage of my straddle planche attempts. So instead, I just kind of have like five or six points over the past couple of months where I've recorded a good attempt. A good as in like best I could do on that day. Not, not good as in like a worldwide standard, no way. So I literally thought I was making no progress on this move. For one reason, I... I rarely attempt it. I probably attempt it on average about five times a week, which is, you know, not really enough if you're planning to get better at something, especially a movement that requires coordination. However, after looking back, because I've been consistent with, you know, even though it's only been five times a week, I've been consistently trying this movement over and over again. And then I've also been working on push ups, I've also been working on basic body weight stuff, as you guys already know. Looking, let's go way back. Okay, so this is back like a year ago, this first one. Absolutely terrible, like, that's so terrible. I thought it was good at the time, which is just, just embarrassing. All right, second attempt here. This one is earlier this year. It's also pretty terrible. Um, <laughs> third one, you guys, is from a vlog. This one's a little bit better. You can see I'm starting to get a, a more straight back. This next one is from just a couple weeks ago. And then this next one is from a couple weeks ago too, but a little bit sooner. And it's getting better and better each and every time. And this one, you can see I really got horizontal. And then today's attempt, um, yeah, I kind of got a bubble butt going on, but that's mainly due to the binge eating I did this weekend. All right, forgive me. All right, I know I, know I have like a common theme, guys, where I'm always like posting a video. It's like, <laughs> I'm heavy, I'm heavy, I'm heavy. But for real, I've been actually trying to gain weight up and then down, up and then down. But not so dramatically, just like 
increments of like 10 or so pounds so that I can put on more muscle and strength and then kind of dial back down so I don't get uh, fat or too, uh, too weak. And it also works for me and I like to do this because I like to keep most of my movements going year round. So like if I gained like 30 pounds, it would be so hard to do air flares. I don't even know if I could, but just gaining 10 pounds is even hard to do air flares. So I like to keep it a little bit more functional and keep the weight fluctuation within about 10 pounds. So I usually range from about 185 to 195. Um, but I'm gonna try to bump up that range from like 190 to 200 and keep that my functional range and gradually gain weight and strength. I know I talk too much. Key point of this video is don't give up. Also, it's a good idea maybe to film yourself every once in a while so that if you're feeling like you're not making any progress, you can look back and really see how far you've come. Um, I notice this a lot with like any really move I do, any trick I do, you know, I'm like, man, I'm not getting any better. But then when I look back like a year ago, I'm like, wow, I was weak. I was slow. I was sloppy, but now it's a lot better. And I know I'm still not, per I'm not perfect on anything really, but just progression is the key. And I know there's still a ton of work to do on this move. I'm bending my elbows. You guys are telling me, don't bend your elbows. Don't bend your elbows. You gotta lock them out. I've, I've locked them out on a few of these tries, but I don't know why bending the elbows for me, it seems to just help it. But I'm gonna try to keep straighter arms. Just after one day, I'm already down like three pounds. That's because I can fluctuate weight really quickly. You, well, if you eat a lot of carbs, you, you usually put on a lot of water weight. That's kind of what happened. So at least five of these pounds is just like excess useless weight. So I'm going to shed that really easily. I'm down to like 191 right now. So when I attempt the straddle planche later today when I go train, I'm assuming it's going to be a lot better. Maybe I'll post that to Instagram. So you guys hit me up there. B-Boy Balls. What kind of freaking name is that? <laughs> Stupid. Let me know if you guys want to see more training with me and my friend Joey. It's like my only friend. Actually, no, I have like three friends. Season finale of Fake Weights coming out this Sunday. Working on that. You guys should see the project file. So sorry I blabbered on. Peace. You all have a good one. I'll see you all in the next video.